Hey everyone, welcome to the 24th Bag Boys podcast. That joke's on you, it's 25. <laughs> Suck no, because no, I was yeah. going to the theory one. <laughs> um, I'm back from invite. I'm a little tired, so Robin... I guess I'll have to well, carry. I'm going to say Rob's going to like talk a bunch, but realistically it'll probably be Drew. Shane, you'll just I, I sit there menacingly. In. Well, see, I just stir the pot so everyone keeps talking. Yeah, That's what I'm here for. I have a lot of questions job. that I can grill you with about... The weekend, so that sure. I'll give us something to talk about at least. Did you go to strip sure. club? No. Hey, yeah, he's a married Did you man. Go to strip club? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wink twice if you're lying. <laughs> Wouldn't Yikes. that just be blinking? No, wink he wants a wink, twice. not a blink, so you can tell the difference. Unless you blink with one eye at a time, but that's not normal fashion. <laughs> there you go. One then the other. It's like a blink wave. It's like speaking Morse code with Shane, your eyes. Shane, carry it on. Jesus, <laughs> <like>, fuck that. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have comments from last week. You guys want to As always, share? I'll, I'll take right. a couple swings. First one, happy camper here. You got to get the Rob one out of the way first. Oh, gosh. He asked his girlfriend to take a look at us, and out of the four, pick who he thinks is the cutest. And of course, this guy got the win. My man, Rob. Right. <laughs> and the then cutest. Followed by every time I watch the podcast, Rob gets better looking. <laughs> I have no idea why I think this is. I'm honestly a little concerned about it. Maybe just like <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome but the, the, via the, the podcast. The top comment on that comment was, Hippity Hoppy, your girlfriend is Rob's property. <laughs> <laughs> Hippity Hoppity, your girlfriend is Rob's property. But yeah, That should be your Tinder bio. No women are property. I am, oh, yes, sorry, very yeah. true, very true. We, we, we respect women on this podcast, oh, but um, that's jokes. I'm gonna make that something. <laughs> that's a, that's hilarious. This is a good. This is the first like nice two <laughs> Rob comments we've had in forever. <laughs> Hippity hoppity. Literally, no one Rob has pubic facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the top <laughs> comment of the week. Yeah. Um, I know I, I do. Okay. Like. Another good one. I don't know why I like this one, but uh, you guys should start measuring thing, measuring things in Drews. For example, <laughs> Shane is one point five Drews tall. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's a great idea. That is a good good idea. It is a good idea. We should adopt that as our like standard measurement. Yeah, yeah. There was also a comment about a guy who I think got confused. He mm-hmm. asked me what resort I stayed at in Dominican, but I've I never been, that. so I'm pretty sure you meant Shane. Yeah. Too Hi, bad. it's Shane. No, 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 he asked you. Yeah, which, what resort oh, do you stay at man, in the Dominican? It was, it was so sketchy. There was like mafia <laughs> all over the place. Guys running around with machetes. It was crazy. Rusty machetes. <laughs> that was the name of the resort. Two stars on Google Plus. Rushetes. But, Rushetes. Um, but last one is Drew looks like a younger version of Batman villain Mr. Penguin. Yeah, I looked it up. It's a, oh he's some God. like fat dude with a pointy nose. Honestly, I can see the resemblance, but I resent you for it. Was, I'm trying to think. Do you guys know who it looks like? Yeah. I, okay. I have a very vague mental image. I'm trying to th- picture Drew walking, and I can kind of see it being like a penguin. A Drew's- lotto for the meme. It's amazing. Speaking of mazes, corn? actually, wait, wait. No one my... said maze. Corn, French. <laughs> you were in Montreal. How yeah, smokes? Exactly. How smokes? was smokes? Smokes between. No, I'm just kidding. Did you go there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, in Montreal. Yeah, I went to Montreal. Did, Did you, you go, go to, to smokes? a poutinery? Did oh you no, have poutine? I don't like poutine. Poutine. Don't waste my time. <laughs> where's poutine your village. Where's your French accent if you went to Montreal? Dude, oui, oui, so... monsieur. Puis jouer les toilettes, s'il vous plaît. I, Ça va bien. I understand. Apparently, I, I'm the only one that thought this, but <laughs> I definitely <laughs> thought that, especially Montreal area, a lot more people would speak English and like proficient English. Nope. Oh, no, no, they, they hate us. us. It was, they want to leave they Canada. Hate us. Like mm-hmm. we went to, we had to go to a pharmacy for Annie, and she, uh, like, we just talked to the pharmacist, and then she started talking in French. We're like, no, English. She's like, uh, and <laughs> then you think, who do you fu- think you are? <laughs> yeah. She had to call over some like really young pharmacist to help. You think she... a pharmacist wouldn't be bilingual? Isn't that like a Man. thing? No, no. Even the no, hospital no, no. was like really rough. There, were... all even of the hospital. Yeah. How come? Anyways. Annie was dying. Yeah. Oh, geez. all of yeah. Canada has to be out. bilingual except for Quebec. Mm-hmm. Well, Quebec does, doesn't even want to be part of Canada at yeah. the moment. But like everything has to be English and French until you go to Quebec, and then it's just all French. No, all the signs Fair. are in English as well. The people don't speak it. What like what, 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 what's what's the first? Is it English then French, French then English? Oh, mm-hmm. it's like a different world over there. Man, I went it to is. Timmy's. And you know how they call out your numbers? Yeah, started calling out to me in French, and I'm just like, These I don't know. And they're all like, "You fucking These idiot!" <laughs> <laughs> Take your pochies, Beko. 
It's like, all right. Wait, did Timmy's does that now? Like, like a fucking deli I don't numbers know. They, and they shit? They did it in Mont Oh, God. Oh, place is probably bumping. Place. Place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking rich white people. So, what's your <laughs> big picture takeaway from the event? Good time? It was good overall. Yeah. Um, same old, same old. Just like, went to work a lot. But I got it all done. And then Saturday was rough because of Annie being sick. But then... Well, what like, what happened to her? We, like, she, she just got coronavirus. Like, quick deep dive into that. <laughs> yeah, I told Should her. I be in this house right now? <laughs> I made a joke about that. I'll circle back to that after. She but, got some lime. She's all good. Um, <laughs> she, uh, so she poured into a nice cozy. Yeah. She must have got like food poisoning from something. Because like, she went to get pho with Hannah and Becca. She says it first, was... First mistake. A <laughs> little bit of beverage poisoning. And then we went to the Ubisoft dinner, and she got a burger from, like, a steakhouse. Mm-hmm. And then she also had two Heinekens, and they were, like, tall glasses. And then she's like, oh, I think it was the beer. I'm like, two beers would not make you puke, yeah. like, 15 times in the span of Even five a lightweight. hours. That's insane. I yeah. bet it's because she got a burger at a steakhouse. They forgot how to cook it, literally. They were like, who orders... Yeah. No, I always She said that. it was the best burger she's ever had. So. That's the key, because they, they can cook... A steak, amazing. They can cook a burger. That's so always well. throwing That's like the, the chuck shavings into it too, and it's just oh. Maybe mm-hmm. I gotta go to a burger place. Yeah, or chuck a, a steak burger place, place because steak. And, but you just gotta come steak to the place. keg next time. Yeah. I wanted to, up. but. I forget why. It's probably some reason you why. Probably I went to the it gym. was something. Re- it was the the football game. Yeah, I was like, Rob, we're gonna go to the keg. You can watch the game while we're there. Okay, yeah, exactly. that, was, that was literally the Vikings' last game of the season. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, it wasn't the Vikings. They were already out. It was a different team. It was just football you just Sunday. Want, yeah, you were just like, I just want to watch football. And we sat in the bar with a huge TV right there, eating eating Did salmon. Did I work the next day or some shit? No, well, no, you, no, no. You, you worked wanted every to watch day, football. So then you're like, I can't go to dinner on a weekday. But then I was like, okay, Sunday. And you're like, no, I want to stay home and watch football. Yeah. And I was okay. like, you can watch it there. And you're like, I, I want to watch it. I'm a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have I should have went. <laughs> I'm a blah, blah, blah. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Billie Eilish <laughs> vibes. <laughs> okay. Random thought. Okay. You, know that, you know that song, Dance Monkey on the radio? Yeah. It is the worst song I've ever heard in my entire I like life. It. I have no idea how it gets so much airtime. I have no idea what it's good. It it's good. It's by Tones and I. It's the you actually like it? Yeah. The, it's just unique. I can't tell if you're being serious or I not. I feel like you don't like it because you've heard it a bunch of times. The first time I heard it, I was like, this is the worst song I've ever heard in my entire life. The first girl's I... voice is like squeaky. She sounds <laughs> like she's like twelve, Whoa, trying she so really hard to be uh, yeah, she's, she's trying young. she's trying to be like an, like an indie singer, but it just sounds so like fake and forced. And the song itself was just horrendous. Well, I never. Oh, hot take, hot take Monday over here with Rob. Worst song I've heard in like a decade. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And he's only been alive a decade. I've only been alive for a, a decade, two decades, point three, <laughs> 2.3 decades. You had to think about it. Um, oh, yeah. So I do have a Man, story so from uh, speaking, Invite. Speaking okay, of weird ass mind. measurements. No, he I'll, has a I'll story. Get your, measurement, then. get your fucking measurement out of here. <laughs> speaking of weird <laughs> Continue, my friend. <laughs> so at Invite, I got to meet a lot of people from the community. Ooh, He's a very popular shot. guy. I, I met and hand cramps and autographs, probably. Mm-hmm. My auto shit, but. Um, Left hand. I met, <laughs> I met a lot of people. Um, and then this one kid stuck out. And mm-hmm. like, like visually or just like, oh, uh, oh no, a normal kid. <laughs> he was just like he was really young, and I was surprised. And so he came up to me the first day and just like said hi, got a photo, and that's it. And he came to the Corsair mean greet to also see me again. Corsair TM. And then um, I told you guys this. I don't think you've heard it yet, but at the end of like our little mean greet, he starts like walking away, and he turns around. He's like, "Wait, can you send a message to Rob for me?" <laughs> And I was like, sure. I pull up my phone ready to text. And he's like, can you tell him it takes a real man to learn how to climb? <laughs> and then walks away. And this kid's probably like eight or nine years old. Man, he's probably one of those ones we see at the rock climbing gym that just like clamber up the <laughs> yeah. fucking wall. Right. But then um, the next day I saw him again and signed something else for him. And then I told him that... I sent the message to Rob and Rob had replied, I'm going to throw hands with this kid. <laughs> and then I was just like, you know, he's like nine or something. He's like easier set up for me than I'm going to yeah. win this matchup. And then I told the kid and he was just like, isn't that like child abuse? <laughs> he's not yes. my child. So and then I was just like, I was like, I don't think that's going to stop Rob. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> kid goes home terrified. <laughs> I was like, all right, have a nice day. <laughs> Rocky music starts playing. This kid just starts training. Yeah. <laughs> Kid, if you're listening, see with one eye open. He Here's listened. He said he listens to all the podcasts. Oh, oh, I was surprised. oh I was like, shit! I, like, I don't know if our podcast. Do you have his are... name? Let's give him a shout out. Shout I out Timmy. His name. Okay. Little, we'll call him Little Timmy. Little Tim. Little Tim's. LT up in this bit, Lieutenant. 
Um, my first takeaway from this story is he's eight years old. How is he playing Siege? It's ERC to be a rated M. Your parents, plus. Timmy. Your par- his parents need to get their priorities in check, we'll say. Weren't his you parents... played Call of Duty at 12. Weren't his parents there know. with him? His dad was. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, like, wait, how did he even get to you if he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, just, boy. like, the most advanced eight-year-old ever. Yeah. <laughs> he shows up wearing, like, a suit. Jeez. Custom tailored, like, baby suit. That's why he stuck out to Christian, like, my man. <laughs> I hope he is a... a or... Watch uh, him be like 17 or 18. Yeah, no. He's, He's like, like, dude, 40. I'm 25, bro. <laughs> he, could, he could have easily been anywhere. I just between... don't have a fucking car, okay? <laughs> Still have a Tesla, bro. <laughs> he could have easily been anywhere between like 8 to like 12 years old. Because in that range, I have no idea yeah, how to it's gauge hard to how tell. old they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He probably plays Fortnite. So he's... You play Fortnite. Yeah, I haven't played Fortnite yeah. in two days now, actually. Oh. I've been reading a book that's been Especially eating up all my spare time. You're like 15. What the hell, man? Yeah, what? just just ricochet shots at Shane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ricochet. How do you say it? Ricochet. Rico- ricochet. Oh, All right, your me. turn. Sue me. Ricochet. Um, nah, you do kind of say it weird too. Rico- I say a few words weird. <laughs> weird. Oh, whatever. What my was... brain's jelly. Oh, I was talking on stream the other day <laughs> before I left, and I was just like, oh, um, because he mentioned he wanted to go through like a park or something just for a nice walk. I was like, oh, I want to go Pardon? to Yellowstone National I said Park. That? Oh yeah. god! And then he's just like, "Oh, is that the one with all the geysers?" <laughs> oh no! Wait, no, I, like, I said it wrong. No, that's what you said. Geysers. And that's wrong. It's geysers. <laughs> and I was just like, "What are you okay. talking about?" He's just like, "The geysers." <laughs> I just. No. How often do you say Rob a word Erica. like that? No. Come on, man. Like, when was the last time you just said? What is it? Geysers? Geysers. geysers. Oh my god! Fucking hell, man! You also don't hey, know how to say aliases. You know that? You know I that? I know how to now. You know that Greek meat you get in the pitas that starts with the G? How do you pronounce that? A goulash. Oh. G Y R O. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pronounce it. How do you gyro. pronounce it? I would have said gyro, if I'm being honest. Gyro. It's yeah. euro. Mm-hmm. But why? Well, I call it a gyro. It, it's because it's like Greek. It's pronounced Am I people, Greek? Man. No. So I'll pronounce it the way. Yeah. The most people call it. This is like a gyro. A gyro. Yeah. Reverse cultural appropriation. Yeah. I used to get my, my ex girlfriend used to get so mad at me because she's like Greek and her grandpa was born in Greece. Oh, she he, he's at, Greek, Greek. And she worked at Pita Pit and people would come in, can I get a gyro? And she's like, Ugh. and then she'd come home and just start yelling at me about it. And I'm like, ah. and Greek too. Like, I don't speak Greek. Yeah, I understand you. <laughs> and that's why she's your ex. I know how to say kokinombiti, and that's it. What's that mean? Red nose. That's not what I would have guessed that to mean, to be honest. Why do you something. know that? Kokinombiti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, <laughs> uh, those Greeks know how to party. Yeah. <laughs> Miti is nose. Kokino, red. That's such a weird word for red. Yeah. <laughs> Coquino. <laughs> That's sick. And then that he always, yeah. Is that what that is pretty grandpa sick, would always call you? No, but oh, he taught red me. Nose. <laughs> Little red nose. I wonder why. He taught me that. And then he's always like, if you got it, use it. <laughs> All right. Oh. By like your way. penis? <laughs> All yes. you love. Yeah. Uh, it's a general. It's a general. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. His granddaughter is right there. Just like, <laughs> things are going to happen. <laughs> um... <laughs> That photo that Shane sent me of your like high school yeah, ID or whatever, oh, I, so I just want to say I'm very happy that you grew into your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, because when you were younger, I look, I was a schnoz. Oh, I'm half. with you. It was, it was very, it was very uh, out there. And I guess you and had like a Bieber- really thin face, so it just looked way more. Just an out absolute. There. And the Bieber cut did not help. Yeah. I didn't think it was that protrusive. Yeah, no, me. I think you know. Now that you're, now that you're kind of fat and. You know, your face is really filled in a bit. <laughs> the nose. Are you seeing the picture? Yeah. I saw. I I'll check the. I'll see my phone like notifications, and I'll see like snap from. I forget who posted it originally. The diddlers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like his nose looks way more. Yeah, right. That is an absolute beak. <laughs> but, but, but like <laughs> this pigeon. I, <laughs> this fucking pigeon. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Yeah. My mouth looks huge in that too, but I have a tiny mouth. I assume this is when you had braces, Damn. Though, isn't it? No, 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 no. This was after braces. You just you messaged me uh, literally as, after I responded. I know, said, I know. Oh, I have br- that like shadow was I know, but possible in that picture, by the way. Show the camera. That's it. Show the show the people. There, oh, like yeah, it's probably what, my what phone. Is, it's me taking it's, the picture. What it's <laughs> missing is there's a little O eleven in the corner, which means I was in grade eleven. So I have my my uh, yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. Folks. What a schnoz. Put that on a Christmas card. Um, on a fucking tip so of a dildo. I, my braces were in grade ten because my grade ten photo, I have an arm sling 
and braces. Jeez. And the next day I got my braces off and like the week after I got my sling off. But you would so you just look like a fucking warrior for your picture at least. My grade 10 pick is like blunder years top post. Beauty. That's pretty jokes actually. I should we should just bring in all of our old pictures. No. I want to see some dude, no. that reminds me. I was I'm going He's showing, got the best. I'm dude, never showing my yo, photos. We gotta I, expose him dude, once. I, I'll find one. I'm sure I got some somewhere. I found the old old high school's yearbook. No. And I was going through it the other yes. day. This motherfucker's picture is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Bring it yo, bring in. that in so we can see yeah, it. One I'll, I'll take a picture. I'll make sure to leave it any uh <laughs> identifying information. But yeah. He's, <laughs> he's done. Honestly, like you, you, you don't look that different. But like, <laughs> but like, it's just like somebody wants to hear. Um, just like the smirk you have, it like you're just. I you can't smile. It, it's the just, smirk in the hair. It's just like you look at it and think this guy's such like he's just like a prick, man. Just the pose he's having in that picture. That's because you know me now. He's like the, you have your like chest. Everyone else is like orderly. You just like this. <laughs> like cover type pose. My picture looks fucked, man. I gotta bring it in. It was like right when I lost a bunch of weight, and I was like emaciated but my <laughs> hair was just like that was way too fancy of a word for wow you Rob, where did you pull that from dude my i have a very complex and diction filled vocabulary true like it's a <laughs> dick dick filled vocabulary <laughs> it's just full of dicks in it. <laughs> um extravagantly veiny wieners oh god i, I feel like the, the juxtaposition like, in juxtapositioning that is just Two, I don't even know what word I'm trying to say now. I'm running out of big <laughs> words. I feel like if we were to look at your old photos, you'd look like some like scrawny white boy. And then oh. now you look like the teachers who prey on those scrawny white yep. boys. Pray. Wait a second. That's a very aggressive verb. <laughs> I don't think mine. I think mine are pretty much the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you looked at the exact same since you were like two. Okay, exactly. So next yeah. week, I'll take a picture of mine. Take a picture of this guy. No, next week is conspiracy theories. Is oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta oh, look at something. Wait, are we doing Fuck. that? Yeah, we said on episode 25, we do a whole. How much conspiracy. time do I spend? Can I spend like two minutes doing this? What? As long as you have theory? all the information and can tell us about I it. Have, I'm gonna try and just go. Shane, you're gonna have to present with the class. I'm literally Googling best conspiracy theory <laughs> and just taking the number one. I'm gonna go knee deep into something. All right, dibs man. number two. <laughs> I gotta think of what I wanna do now. Okay, okay well, I'll think about it after. So. Yeah, I'm, the cogs are moving. But, um,. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Damn, I didn't know we were going to do that. I'm excited. Yeah, can we move to 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> we only talked about it like three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah. going to say, we very touched Operation yeah. Paperclip. Let's make it Let's make it 100. Let's make it episode 150. And then we're all like, it's like, what is that? Two, how many years from now would that be? Three, two years. Yeah, what, what are next, our, month. next month. What are our projections looking like? Don Cherry's still alive. Mr. Google Analytics. What? Isn't that what we predicted? One, that was mine. Oh, Don yeah, Cherry yeah, was going to die. Yeah. Like he's, talk, he's talking about like... He said projections. Yeah, he's talking oh, about... Oh, yeah. he's predictions. For the podcast. Yeah, like, like, Don by the time we release the conspiracy theory at episode 100, what what do we project to be at? Yeah, how's, how's everything looking? 200 viewers all I see over is, all platforms. All I see is this big Tesla app icon on this guy's phone screen. And <laughs> just as like... Christian summons his car, like comes up into the hall. <laughs> I'm ready to take you somewhere. It master. just smashes <laughs> through the wall and the doors open. Oh, all you yeah. hear is the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Um, so for most episodes, they're averaging around after about like a week and a bit. They get around 2,400 views oh, on that's YouTube. Bad. That's not bad. We're climbing a little bit. And then I don't have Spotify on here. So what's never our, have what's Spotify our social there. blade rank? Yeah, dude, Social Blade is one of the most interesting websites ever. Doesn't it go down though, or something? Is it not know, a thing hopefully. anymore? No, like, it just doesn't. This have channel live has made count. anywhere from one dollar to fifty million. Yeah. <laughs> it's like thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> There's some of my favorite commercials. Have you seen the Captain Obvious like TripAdvisor they're ones so or whatever? They're so dumb. <laughs> they're pretty like they're dumb, but they're commercials that like, get a kick out of me. You know, mm-hmm. that's what I look for. The commercial makes me laugh. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still looking at the. You're a very simple man to please, Rob. Give me three things. One of three things. Food, mm-hmm. sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sleep. I just don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Bag Boy's future projections based on Social Blade says that in five years we'll be at 65,000 subs. What? We gotta, All right. We got to exponentially a- a- approach that somehow. How do they put what does that those... even mean? I don't know. Yes. It just sounds good. You bet you, buddy. Yes. You're absolutely right. You <laughs> hit the fucking nail on the head yeah, with that do. one. Good. I'm happy. Okay, I have a question, though, <laughs> okay. about Siege stuff. I have okay. an answer. Okay, two questions, actually. I really like the new ops. Yeah, that, but the for, my burning question is, like, did you, that, like, cinematic they had, mm-hmm. 
that was like really cool but i just like is it just like saying that's what siege is they're like you're like competing in like a it's like breaking the fourth wall type thing where like you're like watching a siege competition while watching a siege competition does that make sense sort of? well so the whole Probably point not, sort of maybe um so since you guys don't know the cinematic was basically like it was really cool they had like five operators like in full costume and stuff like playing in the stadium arena mm-hmm. and like killing each other but they were using like rubber bullets and stuff and yeah. then when you'd get hit you'd get like knocked out and then it was like a 1v5 pulse killed four of them or knocked out four of them and then lost it and it's supposed to be like kind of just showing the stadium was supposed to be like an event that they were all yeah. going to it's like in the middle of like a giant like soccer stadium they just like there's like a map is built in the middle of it mm-hmm. and like but you guys didn't see it the favelas Pretty much. <laughs> no, not at all. But no. you, so like that no, I, I know series mean. built up to them like doing it in oh that's I know six, six minute yeah. long cinematic. And it was like really highly like high quality too. Like, it was it reminded me of like the Blizzard ones, like yeah, World of the Warcraft. Blizzard cinematics. Like it's like on that level of quality. Shit. It was really good. But yeah. then like there was I just I watched it, I was like, this is cool, but I was like, what am I watching? You know what I mean? Yeah, it was just supposed to be like a build up to the event because that was right before the final match, I think. They oh, okay. That. This stadium looks so sick, or wherever the event was. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's like the inside. Uh, play spell. The, it was like, uh, like Becca's snaps and stuff. Holy shit. There's a the bell center? Well, play spell. I don't no. know if there's a different one. Play it's not the bell, bell. center. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a Montreal island. It's on the. Oh, uh, okay. But still, yeah, it looked pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think the. Mon- or, Quebec hockey team, whatever fucking place mm-hmm, there. Mm-hmm. Quebec hockey team. So Junior. Was the Bell Center? QMHL. No, it's Place Bell. I know there's another Place Bell. Because I thought I thought you were just saying like the Bell Center, but in French, you know how they, they put like the it's verb. It's not the Bell Center. The cause... adjective been before or after the yeah, yeah. noun in French or whatever. It's mm-hmm. Bell Place. Either way, lots of cool lights. That's what really caught me. Attention. Yeah, no, it was beautiful. Um, Is it where the Habs play? No, no, it's no, not. No. Imagine they cancel the Habs. Yeah, game. there's no like, there's no <laughs> well, possible way. It's not like he knows that. Someone no, must have told him. The place bell is different than the bell center. Yeah, center or in French it's centre bell. Center bell is Montreal bell center. Island, and then Laval has place bell. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. And he just he literally just said he wasn't on Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he said, "Is no, we're the Montreal team." I, all I know. No, is he said the Quebec team. It's an OHL team. Know. QMHL. All right. I know. QMH- yeah, QMHL. They have like a whole league in Quebec for minor hockey. That's where uh, Lafreniere plays. Number one pick. I didn't yeah. Know that. Isn't it like the ECHL or something? Or that's a different league. hockey league. That's a different. All of that's in like the east. The parent <laughs> of like the. It would be Fuck, like Quebec man. to have their own thing. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. the junior hockey in Canada is so fucked because there's like seven leagues all in like various tiers of like Only skill. three matter. East. OHO. OHL and, and yeah, the Q and whatever else. All I know is that they were like, oh, we got to kick everyone out before like midnight because they have to prep Tear the apart. ice yeah. or something. Just because guys are going to be shredding that shit up, ripping clap bombs. Did mm-hmm. you guys ever see the photo of Shroud in that like giant uh, like Predator gaming station? I did see that. No. Yeah. It's like a chair with like a huge arm overhead and three monitors and like mouse and keyboard. I asked the people who were setting out because they're taking it down like right at the end of the event. I was like, how long does this take to like actually set up? He's like, at least three hours, maybe four hours. I was like, the thing looked fucked though, man. I think it was like Darth Vader coming out of his fucking meditation. Yeah, what cube. if you didn't plug one thing and everything Literally. just didn't work? <laughs> Imagine you set it all up. Dude, you put in the wrong HDMI. <laughs> I'm pull the whole the thing wrong apart. HDMI. Dude, I left my <laughs> HDMI cord at home. <laughs> Dude, I forgot my headset. <laughs> you bring that to a LAN event. Yeah. Just like, Shane, I'm coming over. <laughs> yeah. Stay strapped. But um, other question I had was, yeah, the new operators. Who are they? What do they do? Okay, so you got the attacker, Yana. She can send out like a hologram. Looks I just A-N-A. like her. Yeah. So it's like, uh, what's her name on offense? Alibi. Mirage. Or Alibi, whatever. Why do we keep saying Mirage? But it's an Apex legend. Person. Yeah, it is. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so she can send out like a hologram. Looks just like her. Uh, can't shoot, can't ping, can't knife or anything. Can just move around, lean, crouch, stuff oh, like that. The hologram that. does that. Yeah. And so you use it as like intel. Can you like and see then, through the eyes of it or something? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're, I gotta see it, this. Too. It just it looks it. like the operator. It oh. looks like you're playing, and then as soon as it dies, it goes like fuzzy, and then you go back. That seems somewhat like a more OP version of a Prisma, doesn't it? It's yes, o- and no. it's like an OP version of a drone. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, basically it. And they don't get tracked when they shoot it. Yeah, and which then is also, a little strange because mm. that technology exists within but then the it'd be, game's confines. It'd be more powerful. 
Yeah. Uh, so it's not necessarily like a lore technology limit. It's just yeah. they Fuck don't the want lore. to do that. <laughs> um, Fuck but, the lore, bro. It doesn't mean shit. Exactly. And then the defender you'll love. He's like some really jacked dude. Ooh. Um, He's like a linebacker. He uh, mm. he runs through walls. Like he just straight up <laughs> goes through a wall. I found a new man, boys. <laughs> but he takes 10 damage every time he goes through the wall. And then um, he can open hatches like with a shotgun and then jump up and go through the hatch. So he's like a, mo- he's a mobility character. Yeah. I don't know if I would and actually be as good as that. I like he, sitting on He site. can knock people over if he charges them. <laughs> Damn. Including like, shields. Them. Yeah, like including Monty, he can knock him over even if he's... Like knock him over like the same animation as like the chick who shoots the air things? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Damn. That's So I'll go Doc. You just run through as many fucking walls as you want. And they'll just keep healing you. Just just level the entire fucking map. I'll mm-hmm. just run through every wall in it. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like an awesome thing. I'm surprised there's no, like, Kool-Aid memes. There was a lot. There oh, will okay. be. Pro- or- I know. So when we were doing the capture session, everyone was editing. Roy said he was going to add, like, the Kool-Aid thing to it. But apparently the last time he did that for some other operator, he got a copyright strike. <laughs> for Kool-Aid? It, uh, By for, Kool-Aid. For UMG for the Kool-Aid man sound effect. Wow. And then Priest did it as well, but I don't think he got caught this UMG, time. UMG, I don't know what that is. Well, now Universal he's going a way to go. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Do they own so. the Kool-Aid man? Apparently. That's wild. That's crazy. Well, something. pretty and They're cool. probably owned by Johnson & Johnson. Who they were then owned by Big Pharma somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a conspiracy theory you should talk about, Shane. Big, Big Pharma. Pharma. Owning Johnson. If you Johnson. don't talk about Big Pharma, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. Big Pharma. All right. and J- I had a buddy who did a co-op at J&J. Really? Should, should, yeah. Should I dox them or no? No. He said, <laughs> he said, he didn't tell stories, but just don't want, He said it was like us. pretty good, but like he says like they're like he didn't know like anything he was working with. Like they would give him like files and stuff and like documents that were like like he was just like he wouldn't go into them he would like be like send them to other people like consolidating a bunch but like he said like if he went into any of them like his job was on the line so i was like dude so you're basically just like moving objects around exactly. digitally yeah like anyone could have done that but i didn't well he's still smart he's a good guy but you know i was just like it's kind of a weird job <laughs> do you think that like you why wouldn't they password well i was them? like why wouldn't you just if you're hiring someone to move shit, why wouldn't you just trust them enough to like, okay, this is what you're dealing with? Because like curiosity is going to kick in at some point, right? At least, nah. for, at least for me. It's probably illegal. What What do you mean? Like whatever they're shop well, that's what that's illegal. what we were saying. We were like, does this not seem shady to you? And like he was like, nope. So like maybe he was just like did some training that, or like, maybe he just didn't explain the job. He's brainwashed, well. man. Maybe, well, <laughs> maybe maybe he just didn't explain it. Well, that's also a thing. But big, I don't know. Big I, Pharma already brainwashed. Yeah, him. I like I trust him enough to know like that he knows what he's talking about, but. I just seemed very sketched when he would be like, yeah, I have like 10 gigabytes of spreadsheets, but I'm not allowed to open them. I just have to like... That's a lot. Yeah. It's really fucked. He's got like the memory stick and he's got to deliver it by hand. <laughs> There's some macro like, He's getting chased by guys on motorcycles. It's on a chain around his neck or something <laughs> or like they inject it into him. And it's, like... it's co-op last one day. He just has to get this from one side of Toronto to the other. I, I fully expect Shane to just go down a rabbit hole with his conspiracy. He's be like, yeah, I'll pick the top one. He's going to look gonna into find... Big Pharma. He's going to come back. He's like bags under his eyes. He's like, <laughs> he's like hey, boy, guys, you got to listen to boys, me Boys, I brought a poster board with me. He has a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> two things. I'm going to find just the dumbest thing and and just try to spin it. Do Number f- two, remind me Sunday night because I will forget about <laughs> you, do fl- you should do fluoride in the water. Why? Just, I, yeah. I think it's, it's like a very trivial no, one. No, the best one, one of my life. favorites is like the... the um, the ones where their like planes are going by dropping like chemicals. Oh yeah, well, I've uh, I've dived in that one well, many that times. One's real, kind sometimes. Well, like not on, not they're not doing they're not brainwash, right now, but they've they, happened. They did it to San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, but like I, that's the one I talked about. Yeah, bitch. I I thought of it myself. Yeah. Wait, we okay. dropped what? They chemicals. Dropped, they dropped chemicals in San Francisco to just see what would happen because they didn't know what the chemicals did. Mm-hmm. Like, they made on, everyone on super people? smart and rich. I yeah. told you this. I, I don't that's, know, I just, that's why everyone that lives by the water is so messed up because San Francisco is on a hill and it all just went down, down, down. So everyone and they so and it just turned the them all into at the bottom. They just started drinking it in their water and there's. So it just turned everyone into hippies that, that love making out. That's correct. Yeah, and for some somehow like as it sprinkled onto the houses, all the housing <laughs> prices went up. It was it's insane, yeah. man. So let me get this straight. They dropped dust on san fran yes and then everyone was like dude i'm trying to buy birkenstocks 
a exactly. long board and develop a fucking food delivery yes. app by tomorrow morning. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and it was a productivity capital. Yo, yeah. my house is worth so much now. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's like, dude, overnight my house value tripled. <laughs> I can afford even better long board now. Exactly. That's true. And then they could all afford more electric cars. I don't know if you saw recently Tesla stock price. I did see <laughs> that jump up, yeah. I should have invested, man. Directly because Don't of... you get Tesla stock when you buy a Tesla? <laughs> no, oh. they don't give a fuck. <laughs> I thought that was a thing for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I'm just fucking Here's the head, one man. complimentary stock. <laughs> Maybe I'm just one, a fucking One Tesla idiot. and one stock. <laughs> Jeez. Why'd it go up? What's happening right now? They like tripled in price but, over the last few days. Elon drop, must be an EDM banger. No, they oh. dropped chemicals on San Fran. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elon no, Musk just did wait, it. didn't the only thing, didn't Elon finish his hole in uh, Las Vegas? Oh, did he? Oh, I don't know. That's I, not obviously going to raise Tesla stocks, but I saw that in the news the other wait, day. Wait, the underground Probably. like tunnel thing he's yeah, making? Yeah, he's got yeah. one in Vegas that he just... That, well, it's not obviously done, but the, the whole the boring machine they had popped through the other side. It's That's so sick. jokes. Like, m- when I first saw, like, it's called, like, the boring company. I thought I meant the car. Like, he's just... It's a boring company. But, like, they literally they bore into the earth. Yeah. Could you imagine if, like, Wait, it gets why? up to the other side and there's just, like, some random person there with their house and all of a sudden you see this fucking machine come through <laughs> the hill? <laughs> why was it their mining company that made a flamethrower? It's, it's not a flamethrower. So it's boring, not a flamethrower. The boring company is just kind of whatever the hell he wants it to be. Mm-hmm. Like, he's just like, oh, I want to work on this right now. Boring yeah. company. Yeah, because it started with just hats, didn't it? He's made like yeah, a, a thousand hats or it something. It did start with that. And then the flamethrower thing, I think, was just to like raise capital. Torch. Mm-hmm. It was called Not, not a flamethrower. flamethrower. Come on, guys. I'm trying to get him it into, was hot, a flamethrower. into legal hot water here. Dude, he le- legally released it as Not a Flamethrower. So the best like, thing too is like every like where they released it they couldn't like ship the the gas cans so he just <laughs> shipped each one with like 20 bucks so like go to home depot they cost like 18 <laughs> each one had like a 20 dollar voucher or something like that that's yeah. pretty jokes i remember that yeah <laughs> i should have got one and i was still like, can. and killed christian no, with it they stopped selling i'll buy one off the black market it should, it should be pretty easy finding a flamethrower on market. Kijiji. Do that one too. <laughs> That's just called Drew's parents going shopping. <laughs> oh. Whoa, racist. What the hell? Come it's on. Not racist. Yeah, it is. It's not racist if it's against white people. True. That, that's how racism works. <laughs> <laughs> we broke him again, guys. Drew's like, I'm not going to say anything before Christian turns I it against me. I see the trap with the bait on it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. going to walk yeah. this yeah. way. I yeah. argued about it, remember, no before? before? Yes. No one saw that. I know. Yeah. Technically <laughs> racist. <Clean>, cleaning. <laughs> hey, he comes in. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, we respect woman, man. Woman? <laughs> Just one woman. <laughs> one woman that is Rob's mom. <laughs> yeah. She gets very, I guess, I never, I'm not going to go. <laughs> it was going to come out and just, I, not what I intended, but it would have sounded really terrible. So Rob, when do you start your new job? March. I oh, should know this. Remind March, me closer to the Yeah, day. closer, like March, second week of March sometime. So oh, you, it could be the same day. That Rob, you finish. Rob starts the same day I'm out of a job. Huge. Oh, the tables Any have prospect? turned. Well, yeah, you have lots. Yeah, actually, There's I lots do of really potential. Cool everything. Yeah, decent potential so far. Have you been banging on apps or what? Been banging oh, on applications? applications? Yeah. Uh, yes, I need to be. <laughs> what the fuck was that? There's a little fluff. <laughs> Uh, he's, tripping, he's, he's just tripping out. He's having one of those episodes. I know I'm at one of those points where one of them is like moving me forward in the process, so I've stopped applying, but I need to still be applying, just in case. Dude. Yeah. I uh, is it in town. Sorry, not last thing. No, no. Oh, yeah. He's leaving us. We've already we already know this. Fuck off. Peace out. Well, he had talked about maybe getting a job in town and then oh, commuting daily. But dude, fuck this guy. Commuting morning. where? Like, if it's in town. He's he gonna move in with Bree. That's that's backwards. You should well, stay all there or here move, and just live there. I'll probably I'll probably move somewhere like move in the middle of there the triangle. just to work here. To be with his girlfriend. Well, I understand that, but like, just get a job there then. You know? it's, it's, it's honestly easy to just there. get a job. Let's see, dude. It's it's cheaper to live cheaper. Fuck, cheaper to cheaper. live like uh like Waterloo's fucked expensive, man. But like, oh. you you also got to remember there is such thing as like just not being able to find a job. I would know that I'm an expert. <laughs> so like, True. So like, you can't just be like, I'm just gonna go work here. Well, you can de- like you decide where you want to apply. It's it's as simple as okay, I'm looking for jobs here, and they're looking for jobs here, and you apply to them. Yeah, but I'm not gonna like limit all of my possibilities just because that is the one area that the one geographical yeah. location I want to work. I'm not saying where's this coming from because you're like why would you like work here and live there like if okay if you want i'm to- just saying it should work where you live and then just but you don't even work where you live 
I sort of do. <laughs> you, you're going to work two cities over. That's literally like 40 minutes max. So would be living yeah, near Bree. I still, Bree I still and understand the here. argument here. I okay. still understand so what's going on. So you're saying he, he wants to live with Bree. Yes. Bree's going to live over there. Yes. So She's I not say moving apply to here. jobs over there. But if he can't find a job there and he can only get a job here, does that mean he just can't live with Bree then? He just has to stay no, here? I'm just. Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 I, yes. I, I agree. Like, <laughs> if you put it that way, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's literally the whole situation. I just understand where we got well, so lost Bree, in the weeds. I couldn't find a job in your city. <laughs> it's been a good three years. <laughs> Buddy from work just. Or, I guess I don't want to expose this guy else. Nah, do it. Let's go. <coughs> Buddy Rob, from work. Leave it at that. just the best whistleblower. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's some guy at, this is why works he for the that CIA. Job it's like, the documents. I don't want to expose <laughs> Mr. Trudeau, but. <clears throat> but basically, this guy, he's been dating his, his SO for a while now. Mm-hmm. And then he moved to where I currently work mm-hmm. just to be with his SO. Mm-hmm. And then he's sitting here telling us all these like, horror stories. But like how shitty everything is. And he's like, fuck, man. Like, I really shot myself in the foot. And I was just <laughs> well, like. why does he find it shitty? Well, I'm not going to go into the into detail Give about it. Some detail. Like, just like she classic, shitty. like 90% him, 10% her type, type stuff. You know what I mean? But, but that's not the fact that he moved somewhere for someone. That's the someone's just probably a shitty person. That's what I mean. Ah. And then like. He's calling Bria a shitty person. No, I'm not calling like, her. I don't. I'm not going to hurt that. I'm he's saying got this. To, he's got to stand up for himself. I, I, so I told him. I'm like, man, I don't want to be that guy that tells you to like break up with your girlfriend. He doesn't like, even have to break up with her. I a lot of these things to. just be fixed with a conversation. True. She might not even whoa, realize whoa, she's whoa, doing whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. True. Are you trying to say that we should talk in relationships? Communication. No, is dude, everything key. is done non verbally. You just have to assume and just deal with it. That's, exactly. how, that's how Rob has made it this far. <laughs> True. Look at him now. True. He's an expert. You guys all have your girlfriends, and there's me. Just like. <laughs> I was just saying. The YouTube comments. I'm pretty. Yeah. Hey, it's cute, not pretty. Uh-oh. But to circle back, Drew, you should do whatever your heart tells you to do. No, fuck off. I agree with that. You but should do whatever your heart tells the you to do. But you should also live in the same city you work in, Drew. I just, that's just something that I would want to do. I just think it's more financially. 40 minute commute. Financially Dude, I honestly goals. don't know how you would yeah, do but it. Yeah, but fucking awful. If you plan on working somewhere and living somewhere else, there's a negotiation process where you can say, hey, to take this job, I need to move out. But do you feel uh, like you have that kind of leverage? Here and, oh, you always have leverage. Well, if you're like hey. one of, if you're, <laughs> what if you're like one in like five applicants and like the rest they of them are the more ones. senior? If they're talking to you about pay, it's already too much of a hassle to like, it, like they're going to want to keep you. How far along as the long process are you that you start talking about pay? That should be like one of the first it's, things. No, it's the last thing. It's like the last yeah. thing you talk about. I didn't know about how much I got paid. When I was in university, they were teaching us there like in every interview, like that should be one of the first things. You, okay, you, you can say, ask about you compensation. It, but then there's like a, but... Yeah, exactly. And then there's like the negotiation one. So like, hey, we would like you. Okay, let's figure out what we're getting paid. Hmm. It's, a, it's like you're not going to negotiate like in the interview how much you're going to make. They're going to be like, all right, this guy just cares about money. See ya. The mm-hmm. posting so will have a range, about. but it won't tell you exactly how much. And they much. all know that. But. Starting at blank. <clears throat> yeah, that's what mine, mine said. And I didn't I didn't really negotiate. <laughs> I, just, I didn't feel like I had any like, you, well, you like leverage because yeah. I didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, but, so what, do you, are you leaving another company right now for us? No, no, I'm literally, uh, I'm playing, I work part-time three times a week. And other than that, I'm in my boxers. Yeah. <laughs> so like, fuck it. If you guys want to, I'll, I'll pay you to give me a job. Yeah, I'm exactly. Not actually, but I don't know. Like you apply to the, like, the posting will have like a range and then it's kind of like on you to like ask them once you get to the like place that warrants that question, I guess. Mm-hmm. It always, like, it doesn't hurt to ask. You ask for 5k more than they want to give you. They say no. They're not going to say, like, no, and you're out of a job. Yeah. They're just going to be like, no, sorry, this is our offer. Aim, and then aim you're high. like, okay, I'll take it. Aim I high, settle it. halfway. You know what I mean? Ask for 10K, take five. Aim high, settle high, baby. Union things. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> but, okay, well, I guess we'll have another job search to keep in tune with then. Mm-hmm. I will keep you up and dated. Yeah. I go fuck yourself. I have no job in a month. That's a little scary. We're not going to miss you when you leave us. I might. I'll miss you being <laughs> my backdoor neighbor. <laughs> That's true. But we Rob, have Rob to replace him. Oh, true. Rob's around. Though. Let's go. Well, I'm gonna move out probably end of this Fuck, year. We're done. No, but I'm mo- I'm moving out in town. Yeah, oh. we're good. yeah. I just want my own place again. That's even so better. hold on, you're gonna work and live in a different city. 
this guy. <laughs> <laughs> is he wrong? A 40 minute commute though is pretty far. It's it's like not bad though. Like uh, I don't see I feel like most of that commute is like getting into the city. It's not it's I not work like right, okay. So without how do we know where you're working? Yeah, yeah but it's like right off like the highway. right off the exit and it's a second left right off the exit. Yeah, you're fine. So yeah. like it's so just the, the highway <clears throat> traffic. The dude, well I drove there like for the first interview. <clears throat> Went there at like eleven and the like a.m. Yeah, no, not a, like barely any cars. Got there in about 18, 20 minutes. The way back was when like rush hour was starting. It was about three, and I got back in like a half hour. That's not so bad. like either way, I'm in the car for an hour a day. My drive which, when I was out in the middle of nowhere was like forty five minutes, one fifty back. To fuck yeah. that I with or without either. traffic. I yeah. hate driving too, so I'm gonna need some podcasts and shit. So well, I, I we got one. I could listen to this back. See, like I don't even find that that bad. Just because, like, no, the don't. first thing I do when I get home is I'll throw on some YouTube videos and relax. No, fuck off. You you don't have time for that anymore if you're driving 50 <laughs> minutes. You'll be gaming as soon as you walk in the door. That's my point. Like, instead of watching YouTube videos when I get home, I'll listen to podcasts on the way home. And you you hey. accomplish the same shit. Well, the issue that I have with it just is, watch like, YouTube videos while you drive home, us. man. No, <laughs> no. The, the issue I have with it is that, like, <laughs> when you come home and you watch YouTube videos, like, you're choosing... To do that like you have the option to do anything you want and you're choosing but i to do know that. i'm gonna do it anyway. but like <laughs> but you can do anything like what if you need to run an errand that day or whatever oh, then you can do go anything. do that this coming from the youtuber too but, the, <laughs> but then if you have to drive that 50 <laughs> minutes either way screen. that mm-hmm. is like you you just don't ever get that time back no nope. but like I for, don't me, for me like so if you're driving 50 minutes <laughs> like each i way, get where you're coming from but i'm always going to do that relaxation piece when i get home so it's not you really like not chill out for like 20 minutes you know what i mean you gotta get changed shit in your box shit <laughs> <laughs> get changed doesn't everyone put on a fresh pair of underwear just walk home and just fucking squeeze squeeze one out man flex that turd cutter but um well wait so if you're saying i'm assuming he's not going to do what you're saying because if he listens to all those videos and then comes home and still relaxes by listening to more videos and he's just wasting even more just time. a youtube overload man see the issue with then i'm wasting time the issue with drew is i don't think he can like you say you'll just listen to podcasts on the way home to relax right mm-hmm. i don't think it's possible i don't think so i don't either. think you can drive and you can only do one thing you know this you're not driving and focusing on a podcast if there's rush hour you're just screaming at cars <laughs> yeah you're gonna need the that forty minutes will anyway. Put me in my Zen space. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. No. No. no it won't. I, I think you're glorifying. Okay. It, all right. right. I wouldn't mind a forty minute commute if it was like back roads between two lesser, exactly. whatever connected cities. I asked Bree if what she thought of Drew's driving, and she's like, "Well, Drew's a safe driver, but, <laughs> but. <laughs> it's true. I'm a safe... she's like, yeah, he's a good driver, but <clears throat> he gets a little aggressive sometimes." I don't know. I think out of all of us, you're probably the worst one. I'm a very good driver. I, I just, I just, drivers. I just don't contain my emotions when I drive. <laughs> That's the scary part. I have, For I have a passenger maybe, driver's re- like, driving record. My insurance is 108 bucks a month. Yeah, mine's like 120. What's yours? No fucking idea. Uh, <laughs> oh, someone pays it for me. <laughs> mine's 1400 a year. I don't know. Like I pay semi annually. I should do that. Actually, You're a math like, major. You should know how to... 1,400 divided by 12. That. Well, like, it's, it's a little over 100. It's like 100. 120. Yeah. It's no, like, it's it's, you would pay around the same as me. Yeah. You'd be you'd pay between us. Dude, the reason why I got so low was because they sent me... I'm with Bel Air, and they sent me that thing that you stick under your your wheel. And I yeah. drove like I was a fucking elderly person for two weeks straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you have Drew behind you yelling. <laughs> <laughs> it dropped 7%, man. I was like, this is sick. That's but then you have to sweet. do it. You have to do it every so often. And mine's so high. With I, I had gotten a speeding ticket before with three demerit points. Wait, 120 That's is fuck. high. Kind of. No, mine's 120. It's not that. It's not crazy at all. Well, no, I'm saying like mine, like mine's that low price with a ticket. with having that ticket. And I've been in a crash mm-hmm. for, but Someone, I was zero percent. Yeah, I've had like two tickets, two crashes. But nothing. Well, the tickets are always my fault. But they're all, they're all, they're all like some drop. assholes drive my car. But he for made me, me do it. Yeah, but they're all dropped down, so no, like no points. Um, and the crashes weren't. Um, yeah, I had three demerit points for my one thirty nine over. Yeah, you no, went no, one hundred thirty nine no, no, no. over the speed 39 limit. Thirty nine over. Yeah. I was gonna say what, I, I what, got, what was the speed limit to begin with? I got Holy a fuck. ticket for going one thirty nine. <laughs> Two. But <laughs> the ticket said one thirty. It was a school zone. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I was going a little faster. I'm pretty sure my insurance is like 200 per month for my car. Yeah, but that makes sense. Because you have a red, expensive it's one. It's red. It's a red sports car. No, it's just red. Yeah. 
It's the color red. It goes up 100 automatic. What's the cheapest? Gray and black? He, he's yeah. not kidding. I, like, it's not 100, but I know. Like, yeah. It's like a dollar. He's not <laughs> kidding. It actually is 100 more a month. It's 1,000% more. You, your car is triple the value of mine. So sure. that makes sense. Like if I were to get in a crash, they would have to pay me out a lot cheaper than they would have to pay your car out, for example. Yeah. Do you want to know how much? It's also a safer car. Yours is, I, yeah, but don't they take into account ownership too? No, they don't. Yeah, they but but like it's safer for you. But at the end of the day, if you get into a crash, you're safe. That's awesome. Your car's fucked. Your car's fucked, which <laughs> means they have to pay for it. <laughs> then they have to pay my medical company. bills. Wait, we live in Canada. It's yeah, free. True. As long as you don't have like a thousand hundred thousand dollars of shit wrong with you, you should be fine. This guy does. But don't even do that for free. Yeah. Well, I think you have to pay if it gets egregious, don't you? Nope. No. As long as it's like, like pretty sure chemo and everything's free. Pretty mm. sure, yeah. There might be some like very specific parts of that that aren't free, yeah. but very specific things like specific, specific. drugs. <laughs> yeah, like for the most part, all that meth they pump into you. Oh, hip like, is a wonderful thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thousand bucks. Every Annie pump. forgot her oh hip card. Like she didn't bring it when we went to go back. I was like, she got why? in her What's an oh hip card? Is that like the health Ontario card? Ontario Health? Yeah. Something. Oh, gotcha. Something. Ontario Health. You should know this. Shane. I've never actually heard like an oh hip card. It's just health card, right? Yeah, it's same thing. Gotcha. I have the only reason I know. <laughs> the only reason I know OHIP so much is because Brie worked in a pharmacy too. So she just always babbled on about what was covered under OHIP. And I'm like, oh, that's All pretty right. nice. What about Good RX, man? Have I seen those commercials? No. I don't think I was watch too much TV. Mm-hmm. It's like this... I only watch the Leafs games. But you, but you probably see these then. They're fucking no, everywhere. We watch online, so like the commercials are. Oh, it's, it's, all just, like it's, just, the it's just the NHL feeds. Shield. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Commercial break. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would almost rather that than the fucking commercials. No, it's that you're so nice. To watch. It's so convenient. Dude, it's the same fucking commercials. It's like, on, it's like the commercial for the Good Doctor. Have you seen that? The commercials for that show, at least. That's a good no. show. With that, you like it? Oh my gosh! Okay, it's so weird, man. It, is that the one? Why that's is it a, weird, Rob? It's just a weird show. Is that the one that's about like the autistic kid <laughs> doctor, who's a doctor? Yeah. It just doesn't okay. make any sense. He has, like, he literally all of a sudden has X-ray vision when he's, awkward, <laughs> when he's operating on people. No, no it's trying it's to, to visualize what he might be thinking. I don't know. I can't stand shows like that. <laughs> Medical then these dramas. laser beams come Rob, out of his eye. Your conspiracy on savantism. <laughs> What's that? Savantism is like certain people that are on the spectrum, and they develop these just superhuman abilities that's not a conspiracy like that's that's, that's yeah, i know i know but, i just more wanted to read think, about it he'd be like they see not an x-rays <laughs> yeah but it's not x-ray they're like they're but they're crazy the yeah. x-ray vision <laughs> i didn't even know they existed until hannah explained it to me one day i did a i did I, a whole um assembly on it as like we were part of part of assembly? the students uh oh like school. part of the he assembled council <laughs> for high school <laughs> short buses <Wait. is> united <laughs> No, it was it was a uh, it was a class. So we had like a semester in class for the student council. It was a meetup. Fuck you all. <laughs> and then we had to we went to, to the class. <laughs> I'm anyway, listening, Drew. We had to do an assembly for the second semester, and my assembly was on autism, and just different stuff on this. But spectrum. it's actually insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I already, or I mainly know that because I one time called an idiot savant in front of Hannah, and she was not happy. Again, she was going through like the because like pretty much anything is part like it's a lot of it's like memory things and it's just actually insane. Um, like one of the guys who has like the world record for the number of digits of pi has like savantism and he uh, he doesn't remember the numbers. He visualizes them all as like shades of colors. It's so insane. He, so yeah, he yeah. Thinks yeah. Like, he's like so purple, green, blue, whatever, and that just translates to he numbers. He sees the pattern. Damn, that's crazy. And they're like, also like specific shapes as well, which is even weird. The one she was up. showing me or telling me about was literally like you could say a date and a time, and that person could tell you exactly what they were doing. So similar to Ever. that, I is that people say you're a savant at that? Is that what this? That would be more from? photographic memory, but like it'd be a mix. It depends. I guess that's mm-hmm. technically savant. There was a guy on the spectrum in my high school, and you could name him any celebrity, and he'd tell you that when they were born and when they died. Like any celebrity, he's like he's like uh, Varsi, uh, Chris from Varsity Gaming, born uh, 1995, dead 2022, and Drew's like, oh, uh, uh, I gotta tell, I gotta tell someone. Do I tell him? <laughs> this is why Drew came back into our lives after he was gone for a year. Yeah, he's like, I need to get this money now. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ca- I got a cash out. <laughs> just starts being super friendly to Christian too. He's like, hey man, I anything got, you need. I got two more years. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. That, that raises a deep moral question. Uh, okay. If you could know okay. your future okay. and like when you died, would you like want to know it? Nope. Yeah, sure. Why not? Who cares? 
Yeah, like you would be like, okay, like someone's like, hey, it wouldn't gonna... change anything. But it like, wouldn't change anything, but it would also like make you like experience things differently and like just, especially like, get more stressed towards the end as it starts yeah, to dawn on you'd you. You'd have constant anxiety waiting for shit to happen that you know is gonna happen. But like at the same time, actually I don't know. I can't really rationalize one thing. If to I know was it. if I was in front of someone and they're like, I know when and how you die, I would want to know. Just because I think it would make me more stressed that they knew and I'm just sitting there like, oh, what's that? The better question is like, Rob's, for example, if I knew when, like the date you were going to die, would you want me to tell you? Like, or would I, would you, like, if you knew when I was going to die, would you just tell me? Like, I would be like, like, get pranked. (laughs) (laughs) That's tomorrow. I might, no, (laughs) I might want to know because, like, well, then, like, if say you were like, oh, like, you die, I don't know, a year from now doing this, I'd spend my entire life trying to prevent that from happening but you can't change exactly yeah, no, you can't change but like it would just be that inevitable like but it would be so funny you're like okay everyone like i know you you and you're going around the table like oh christian you'll die in like 70 years drew you'll die shane you'll die tonight uh, <laughs> you got a weak pal yeah. shane you die in a wood chipper this morning <laughs> in a wood chipper but i think it would be sweet because like for example if it was like hey you die in a year I guess I would just, just go crazy. Just quit your fucking yeah. job. Quit your job. Yeah, just do, take do, whatever savings you have and just fuck around. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas if it's if you die in 80 years, you're like 79 years old sitting there like... You're like, shit, I gotta work for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I, yeah. I, why can't that I how does that change it? anything? <laughs> that literally is gonna be your life anyways. You're gonna work. <laughs> yeah, work yeah but you could live more carefree. You're like, I'm not going to die until 80. True. I could be like, I could just jump off things. I was and like, say, so would that change anything? Like, if I were to just jump immortal? off this apartment building, would I no, become because it, it, they'd save you. They bring it, you back every time. It factors in you knowing that you die at that time. But if I know and I just throw myself off the balcony, it just breaks exactly, the system. Exactly, but it's all, it's all it's all factored that you'd be in a lot of pain for a lot of time. Yeah, you. But you so survive. Saying, oh, you could live the rest of your life. You could as just a live veggie. in a coma. So you're saying I could jump off the building and survive. You'd be a celery but stick, a, but <laughs> a celery stick. <laughs> all right, all right. You'd be a green onion. Rob, tell me. Computing. Twenty forty eight, July fifteenth, nine PM. Writing that down so if it comes true. It's- <laughs> Shane gets like a <laughs> Christian just died. Oh, oh, oh shit. I'm sitting right next to him. Uh, <laughs> which christian christian's eyes just like roll into his head what? <laughs> oh, what the fuck and then everyone's like trying to hunt down rob and then i have another question that we can ponder okay do you believe like ghosts are real to any extent yes 100 yeah. percent. i believe that they are to some extent i, yeah, I don't know about me. like the quintessential ghost it's not like the poltergeist that fucks with your house and shit but like like spirits or like energy spirit realm yeah like energy like take my energy literally that kind of thing so you don't think anything like that exists whatsoever no because definitively nothing paranormal exists if the day of the dead okay at some point in like history we would have definitive proof well like there are people who haven't you ever watched ghost hunters on ytv (laughs) so like (laughs) ghost hunters show the machines there's things that beep when ghosts are around you don't believe that but like that kind of stuff, like it can be explained. Like people debunk it, but yeah. like there's certain things that are just like I don't know. The, so I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't know about the ghosts and stuff. But there's like, well, it would be something like that. But you know those like those videos of like those orbs, like floating through the air. That kind of stuff is the only thing I'm like, what orbs. the fuck is this? What's that? I'm not like I'm not it's trolling. Just like I haven't seen little, it like, it's just like a light <laughs> not almost going through the air. It just makes no sense. Like yeah. from the Avengers. The Tesseract? No, no. It's, it's like tesseract. ghost things. Those are the ones where I'm like, this is this is the only thing that would make sense. Like someone has like a camera, they're filming, and there's just like a little ball floating Yeah, around. yeah. Hard to explain. I've seen Wouldn't like... Wouldn't that just be like in video editing? No, no. See, like or, it, it well, could like, be editing. Here's what some people... Or like when you take a picture and there's like a... Like an ethereal presence light. in the background. Mm-hmm. Here's, oh. here's my rationale. It's like when you go into a haunted house, they could say a haunted. place... Yeah, like a place that hasn't been like... I don't know. It's like old, shitty. You feel scared. And you feel like there's something there. Rob's mm. bedroom. What explains like that feeling? You know what I mean? So part of me thinks like you're going into a haunted house. You're conjuring it up yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then again, like part of me is, I don't know. I've never. It's just like, so n- not, not like a haunted house, like a carnival. Like uh, let's say you're going like somewhere creepy. Like an old creepy. abandoned like, warehouse. Yeah, like on vacation, I went to an abandoned prison. Like and I went, when like I was that, in it. Like that one it down was in by the roundabout. It, it was out oh. jazz. On the back street. I should, I should put it that way, actually. <laughs> When I was on vacation, I went to a bed in prison. It was Alcatraz in San Francisco. <laughs> but like there was like there was dark parts that they claimed, oh, the scariest part of the whole thing. It's like a 
a pit in the ground where they like they wrestled or something. But like that knowledge, <laughs> <laughs> no the prisoners and stuff. This is a bunch of naked guys. Like, oh, well, come down, Rob. <laughs> that knowledge mixed with your fear can also yeah, make it'll you like think make me certain think. Certain things. But so the like, I just feel it's hard to explain that like just chilling feeling you get when you walk into they, someone. Because then you pay money in big pharma. Big pharma. I, I don't even think big pharma has anything to do with this one. <laughs> Rob, the brain. They may have kept their hands clean in this mm-hmm. topic. The brain's capable of doing anything. Correct. Like anything. if you convince yourself something, your brain so can, I can literally. I can look like this and just like. Conjure electricity out of my hands. Yeah. Am I doing it? Can we animate that in? You're not. Christian, <laughs> 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 that one's on you. Please. But your your brain. I'm really something. hoping he yeah. does. <laughs> but your brain can make you uh like just think things that aren't true, and that's like why there's. It, it, it's why anxiety exists. I was gonna say yeah, like there's a lot of mental disorders because of that. And think like, of all the just... medications to make from that, and all the money yeah. to make from the medications. Mimi, Big Pharma. Mimi Big got me Pharma. hooked on those like BuzzFeed ghost ones. And like they're they're usually pretty like it's BuzzFeed. Yeah. But um, there's one where like, and I've seen this done before, where you just put like a like this basic flashlight on the like the bed, and um, you just ask questions and like shut it off if it's yeah, shut it, and like the light just flicks off right then. I'm like, yes. it's a basic flashlight. How the fuck is this happening? It's not a video trick. It just happens. But then the one guy on BuzzFeed's <laughs> so fucking skeptical of everything. It would be like you on it, yeah. or he's just like. Oh yeah, the lights just burning out. But like he asks like a specific question. There's two lights, and then the lights both go out. I'm like, yeah, ah, yeah this yeah. is getting kind of weird. But he's so funny because it would be like you sitting there like, yeah, I don't know, the batteries just must be dying. And then they turn back on when he asks another question. And then like, you know, oh, batteries must not be dead after yeah, all. <laughs> but like, there's things like that where it's not necessarily Buzzfeed doing. I've seen other people try that so, kind of stuff. I forget why it is, but I watched basically an explanation video on how Ouija boards work. Mm-hmm. And it was the most interesting shit of my life. And it was basically like your subconscious moves your hands yes. collectively. So one thing, about, one thing I learned yeah. about well, Ouija like, boards that really bugs me is that it's about O-U-J-I-A or O-U-I-J-A or something like that. Can't spell, doesn't matter. O-U-I-J-A. It has four vowels in it. Ouija. Okay. But... It only pronounces the sound of the one vowel that's not in it, which is the E. Because it's yeah, Ouija. Fair. That's what bothers you about All the boards? other four fucking vowels. <laughs> that is strange. That's, uh, that's yeah, I've only yeah, ever done Ouija boards off. with people who are like just clowns, right? And it's like, oh, holy fuck, there's ghosts everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that would be you. <laughs> well, it's I, like, Whoa, it I <laughs> want to kill Rob. <laughs> yeah. That's we did that like L O L. See, Rob would be, <laughs> Rob would be the Paul. type of guy. GG nerd. <laughs> He'd be a type of guy where he's like, on the first day with the girl, he's like, oh, let's bring out the Ouija board. On the first he's, day. He's like, are we going to have sex? And then, like, yeah. he's just, like, <laughs> dragging it over to the yes. She's, like, pushing. It's like, no, it says yes. <laughs> I just remember when we were, I was, like, probably 11. Oh, we did, no. we pulled, like, a Ouija board out. And, like, and really, like, a bunch of kids just singing, like, in front of this abandoned house in one of my buddy's neighborhoods. There was, like, and they claimed there was blood on the... There was like a dark substance, but I thought it was like always is. It's something. It dust. was definitely their leftover pudding. There was something. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's all over the some windows. Pudding on there before Rob gets. And then of course, it. there's just like we have a Ouija. We pretty supposed to say Ouija. Is that yeah, a thing? yeah, Ouija. Ouija. Ouija board or whatever. And like we're doing it, and of course everyone was just like fucking around with it. But I, I like that experience like tripped me out for like a week. I remember being a kid and being like, what, what, what happened? Like nothing really scary, <laughs> but like I was just like. I just felt so weird, like trying to interact with like spirits. See, the like, scariest thing Circling. I've ever seen was the ring. That was pretty spooky. Okay, yeah, I guess yeah. Circling <laughs> back to the like haunted house thing, <laughs> like it's like I always think of haunted houses like okay, you go to a haunted house, <clears throat> like you're you're already scared, right? Yeah. It's like being home alone and you hear like a creak. And you're like, you know, nobody's in your house. Okay. Oh, it's my but, cat. I don't have a cat. Exactly, <laughs> but you know what I mean. But like all of a sudden in your mind, you're like. Wait, I'm dead. I'm yeah. dead. I'm, like I'm some, literally some, dead. Something's coming to kill me. Yeah, I'm AC. <laughs> yeah, but Dead. you know what I mean. It's Did like it's like when you, your mom get, tells you to get something from the basement, and then you turn out the last light in the basement, and you like book it, it up book, the stairs. Yeah, yeah. You just do the animal. Yeah, it's crazy. Dude, I, I fucking hate doing that. <laughs> and then the, you're like trying to run so fast, you trip, and you're like, wait, oh. the thing the is, the ghost got me. The ghost got me. I'm lucky because I have a light switch at the top. There's like one of those ones that like it's the same top lights, and body, top bottom. So I'm I'm blessed in that regard. Yeah, but, but before, up? I still but, run. But in, yeah, I st- you, st- you always got to run the stairs, man. You're, you're just tempting fate if you don't run upstairs. True. Just, all the ghouls and shares going to come in to slice you up. The thousand yeah. pound sisters weren't asked to get enough stuff from the basement. The th- True. Thousand pound sisters. They don't believe in ghosts either. <laughs> um, they're gonna soon. Before we get off the the topic, 
Uh, one story I have, which I guess isn't mine, but my parents. So my parents went to Colombia okay. a while ago, like back when I was a kid. Lots of ghosts and ghouls there. Yep. And they Day took the a photo in a restaurant. My mom still has the photo, so I can show it to you guys one time. Yeah. Um, and obviously this is all based on what they say. And my dad was really into like horror stories. I don't know if, you know, there's some sway maybe, there, but maybe. Um, <laughs> he basically told us that like they took a photo. All of them are standing there. And then it's a restaurant where it's like kind of imagine a U shape and like in the middle of the U is like water, but it's like lower down. It's a like, so it's like it's a reverse moat. moat. Yes. Basically. That was so like, awesome. So you, so you look at like the edge of the, like it, there's just the floor, there's no railing or anything yeah, yeah. and you just look down or maybe there's a railing, but then you look down and just water down there. So there's nowhere to stand on. And when they took the photo, there's a kid peeking out behind one of the statues and they were like who's this kid like why is he here and they were looking around they couldn't find him and they went to go look where he was and they said where he was there was no way he could possibly be standing there so it would have been floating above the water and he was like his arms were like right here looking over so it's not so like he was holding himself up unless yeah. he's climbing like v9s yeah so then <laughs> they're not so then my parents were always like that was a ghost like that was probably but there's tons of uh, things like that where it's just like you turn the there's, picture. it makes mm-hmm. zero sense of the background like there's there's <laughs> nothing there there was nothing there but there's a person now mm-hmm. like it's strange yeah fuck but... that I, i'm always a, i'm like what you said the skeptical kind of like there has to be some explanation See, the trippy one is is like see nowadays like you show me a new picture i'm like oh you probably just photoshopped but like the old pictures like that for example that was lo- like early 2000s no way someone but like there's no that. possible way like the 1900s early 2000s like you take a picture there's no possible way that photo was touched Fuck up yeah. with yeah mm-hmm um yeah that, like they had it back trip, then but it was really yeah. hard to do right right like the first well. photo you ever see of uh the ufos was like a photoshop but that was back in like the 1910s mm-hmm. they just did like double exposure of a photo and then put it on top and sold it as like an original mm-hmm. and people believed it mm. that's They're why you always see like that. back then what people were much more gullible back then and now we didn't have uh access to the internet to fact check everything though so but yet yeah, very creepy story I don't like the thought of like, you guys ever had, I might have said this, the thing like getting touched by something. Yeah, you did. I remember telling the story, but I don't know. That kind of thing is what you can't, I can't explain personally. It's Do you like, mean like mm-hmm. if you're just sitting there and then you feel like a, yeah, like, like that. that. Oh. And like that's happened to me numerous times where it's like, I literally, just me creeping into your bed. Even like if I'm by He's myself at home, just mm-hmm. like hang up from my ceiling. <laughs> Hi, like, Rob. That's Rob starts th- getting a massage. He's like, ah, kind of creepy, kind of <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just like. It's like, man, it's like, this is, I'm probably going to die, but this is ghost giving me a killer massage first, yeah. man. It's like, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to die relaxed at least. Maybe he's easy. He's easy with his hands or she or it. It's so funny. You're like, you have the date, your death, and you're just sitting there stressing like today's the date. And then all of a sudden you're just getting a fucking massage by a ghost. <laughs> what it's just like, hell? the ghost is like, dude, I'm going to kill you today. But like, <laughs> it's like, I'm at least going to make it like a it's better for be both of us. It's going to be It's like. I don't want to kill you, but you know, I'll kind of have to. Yeah. So like, I might as well just kind of hang out for a bit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Become best friends. Literally. I would love to be a ghost. I'm mean, just like, fuck with people, man. Oh my gosh. True. That's like the, that's like the ultimate like form of being a troll. As like just becoming a, a ghost. ghost. And just like trolling people. You've been watching too much Star Wars. I have been actually. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I've, I started reading the Maze Runner too. Good book. It is a good book. Um, it's a real page turner. I've is. read 250 pages since last night. Is Maze Runner the one with they the, drop guy, the kids kid in the from, middle of a maze? The kid from Meet the Millers is like the bad guy. Don't spoil group. anything. I, I I'm know. gonna watch I've the movie after the I finish it. I've technically read, watched the movie too, but the they movie sucks. I figured as much. Hopefully, a few of them die at least Don't on the way. Tell them that. I assume someone. Well, does. like that's like that's one of those things that you just kind of know know happens. I, 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 Doesn't I, I, the movie like chain into another movie? There's three movies. There's three books. Ah, so, so I only watched the first. I'm gonna read, watch, read, watch, read, watch. And to see how it is because i was asking some friends for recommendations because with this new job and shit my, my fit my brain is turned into jelly because i've just been doing nothing for so long and Ooh. like i was reading it's like good ways to sharpen your brain up more cardio like cardiovascular exercise reading and obviously doing like like sudokus and mm-hmm. bird puzzles and shit dude's fucking 80 over here yeah literally mm-hmm. literally Jesus. i had the exact same day as my dad today and it was just like this is freaky we both went for a walk we both like cooked like something for no reason separately yeah we literally went on separate walks and then like i i was reading a book and he just came and he's just like are you copying me today or something and i was like no i'm just like man i don't even know what what happened to me it's kind of you have to read ready player one 
I it's heard that's so, a good book. It's also, such a good book. Is it like? Don't watch the movie first. I've I've heard mixed things about the book because of like that scene about The Shining. Apparently, in the book, it's like he just goes on and on and on, like basically reciting The <laughs> Shining in his book for like three chapters. Uh, the book is so good. The movie. Eh. Yo, I'm definitely gonna read that. I want to read the movie. The movie like completely changes the storyline. That's what. That's really? one thing I, I don't like about movie. Wait, film adaptations to to books. It's like you kind of like, especially I don't know. Harry Potter, I guess, did a pretty good job. Harry did so well. Okay, but like, it's just like when like characters come out of nowhere. Like for example, The Hobbit. I read The Hobbit, and all of a sudden, it's three movies, and well, each that- movie is like three and a half hours long, like 10 total hours of cinema. Hmm. And there's like characters like Legolas is in there. It wasn't in the book. Like all these random people from Middle Earth that shouldn't be there. That was just for money making. Though. Yeah, they exactly. That's my it. point. It's just like, it's just that so bread. stupid, man. Okay. Harry Potter, like was like when you think of like the biggest like cultural impact Harry, something oh, yeah. had Harry Insane. Potter. What? Insane. That's a yeah, Harry okay, Potter. But, so I, my friend was arguing like game of thrones which is fair i think but if you really think of it harry potter right now is still big yeah when was the last harry potter movie out? like two years ago how many people no, no way more like really? five or six I remember, fantastical I'm, beasts and where to find oh it? yeah i'm, I'm like, saying potter, that's, that's like that's, that's, that's a harry potter universe like deathly hollows part two was the last one I'd yeah think, yeah, yeah. And i'd still point. argue that's like in the same boat uh, that'd be like going to and see they have, like, uh, they have a whole new series coming out now as well which is another spinoff of the whole harry potter wanting more yeah. Well, okay regardless regardless well, you it's hear like, regardless you I hear all this stuff about like harry potter still you go to stores you still see harry, harry potter, potter stuff. merch everywhere and shit how when was the last time you heard people talk about game of thrones it's honestly kind of fizzled out a bit for me well i think that's because the season but like harry potter a, it never just, it never fizzled exactly they, it was like one of the first like book series where they actually made a bunch of movies that people were like these are sweet shit, this yeah. actually worked like Game of Thrones also, I think, it had such a polarizing ending that it's almost it like killed t- it. it's almost like taboo to talk about it now because like there there's such two distinct groups of people mm-hmm. people who like the ending of it and people who hated the ending of it that like you're almost scared to say your opinion either way because you're gonna get castrated but by again a group of other people Harry Potter didn't really have that everyone was like no, oh everyone shit, was this like, was good like like well spoiler alert Dobby dying really fucking sucked yeah <laughs> that was the saddest scene I've ever fucking encountered in a movie dude. Like literally, man. Like that was like I was sadder like, than up. Yeah, I didn't. I'll, I'll be honest. Maybe I'm just a heartless sicko. That up I'm scene, with, yeah. up scene didn't really touch well, okay. me. Okay, did you watch The Incredibles too? Yes. Did you see that bow skit right before? Yeah, that was sad. But again, it's just up. like I don't know. Again, oh, call heartless. me call me crazy, but it's like it's animated, so it's hard for me to like genuinely yeah. feel empathy for anything happening. Dobby was animated. Well, like he's no, being he's held real. by humans. <laughs> he was yeah. real. What do you mean? <laughs> what the Wait, fuck? Harry Potter wasn't real? I'm Don't kidding. ruin this for me. It wasn't me. live action? Well, I guess it technically um, was live action. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it up. For, for the final question, what was everyone's favorite Harry Potter movie? I don't like Harry Potter. The one where they hate everything mm. fun. The one uh, I have mine. where it's like the big contest. The Goblet of Fire the is Goblet my of favorite Fire. too. What, what yeah. happens? I think it? it's my favorite to watch. That's like all the events, but like not the necessarily maze. the yeah, maze. The maze yeah. Where that, that, yeah. That, yeah, the, yeah. The, the Maze Runner. The dude dies. Cedric. Oh, crossover. Yeah, Cedric dies. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> 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 That's my son. <laughs> that was actually a real good impression. Yeah, I've seen this. Okay. So Cedric many times. dies. Yeah, that that was the best one I think. The oh, other fire. Again, the last one was amazing. The way they wrapped it up was sick. Yeah, the thing was like. They went up in production value too because they had more money. So the last ones looked like more crazy. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, the first movie kind of I remember it like so well still. Ron sticking his fucking note or his wand yeah. in the, unwrapping his headdress. Yeah, and literally. Like... And you see the fucking head. And like, <laughs> and like that giant chess match. I don't yeah. know. The first Dude, the first movie Night to be four. Yeah, literally. The first movie still is like stuck with me. So I gotta say that's my favorite, but in terms of like Action packed, like genuinely entertainment. enjoying it. The, uh, episode four, or Goblet of Fire, number four, whatever you. Call when we it. went yeah. to when when we went to the states, and went to like Frank Booth. There's like this like very fancy like chicken dinner place, and we like winter, you winter. walk in and it's like it's kind of like like chicken a White dinner. House setup. Like it's got the pillars got up front. You know what I mean? Like very nice building. And you walk in like carpeted. You're greeted at the door. Line up this way. Waiting area here. And in the waiting area, there's this big fireplace. There's this big fucking rooster. Yeah. And they have this like <laughs> big ancient, cock. They have this like old TV set up and on the TV, they're playing the first Harry Potter. Oh, and me and Amanda, lame. like we finished our meal. We came and sat down because it was, it was like a blizzard. So there's no yeah. one there. And we're like, we can walk back, but we're just 
we have nothing to do for like 40 minutes yeah we sat there for like an hour and watched the whole thing yeah totally <laughs> worth it man it. totally worth yeah. it there's something to be said to you about like do you have your favorite movie and like you can watch whenever you want or you can you turn on the tv and you see it you're just like okay it feels yeah, exactly. different now i have to watch it or on on the radio you have a favorite song it's like oh man like i've kind of burned the song out a bit not gonna listen to it and then you hear on the radio you just crank it exactly you know what i mean dance it's like, pops up. not dance monkey <laughs> fuck that song can you relate christian huh i've not heard that song i'm just saying in, in general not to harry potter no i don't i'm not a fan, but like but... do you like hearing your like when you're when you find something unexpected that's what's your favorite movie do you have one um probably now it's the kingsman i heard that movie's good i haven't seen it is very, that very action good. Movie? that's what made me buy that suit is like i want a suit and i never wear <laughs> <Yeah>. it <laughs> what is your what's your favorite movie i don't know mine's like honestly like it's hard to tell i have one from each genre if that's a thing I'll no be, it's not i'll okay, be true what's your favorite <laughs> no, i'm kidding what you... the one that sticks with me is <laughs> <laughs> book of eli i think it's the such a cool movie yeah Oh, I it. Denzel Washington, right in a desert, just killing people, pretty much, all in the name of the Bible. That was a pretty sick movie. Mine are like all in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, like Wolf of Wall Street's up there. That's a good one. Um, the Batman's. Oh, like okay. with the I, Joker. I, actually, I watched a really good one today. Uh, Margin Call. I've heard of it. It's it's about like the 08 crash and a firm trying to stay afloat. Of course, you would yes. like that type <laughs> of movie. And I watched it while I was waiting for TTS to download, and it was sick. It was probably like a documentary he's like it's my favorite yeah, movie awesome. i love this plot Kevin Spacey. all right what do you i have guys? my i can dial mine down to one just kind of recency bias but american sniper with bradley cooper it's a good one that, like it's just the whole movie is a power trip man mm-hmm. you finish the movie and you just want to join the army that's literally how you feel doesn't doesn't he he dies in the end doesn't he no. like, like he, in real life in real life like what happened was that yeah like they they so i did but they did put that in yeah the movie? they put it in the movie so like in real life the guy's name is yeah, Chris does. something. He yeah. comes back and they go to a gun range. And he's help- well, gaming. Yeah. He starts helping people. Yeah, he starts like helping people with PTSD and he shit. He came back, he had PTSD, he had no purpose. Yeah. Then he found the purpose in like helping other people with PTSD. Yeah. And then a dude that he was helping just killed him. Yeah, they, they went to a, it's kind of a, obviously hindsight's 2020, but this is yeah. a pretty glaring mistake. They brought a, a kind of loopier uh, P- PTSD guy to a gun range. He got a hold of a gun, killed like everyone there including the is that based guy. off a true story that's exactly yeah, what happened yeah, yeah. and then they made the movie and then the end of american sniper has a big like post credits role dude exactly so american yeah. sniper is amazing and yeah. then you get to the end you're like oh yeah this actually happened Boy, what the fuck? fuck well i knew it happened <clears throat> but i was like he fucking just dies yeah. right after like and then i was surprised there's a sucks. there's a huge huge like online debate about whether was he an, an american hero or is he just he, a, or is he a glorified mercenary killing because he's just fucked in the he head just kill, he killed so many fucking yeah, 150 people. people plus and they weren't all soldiers right they were like well civilians. like they were like Some of them, they were They're targets all... yeah and like in the movie he's or, like or hostiles yeah but like again you can that kid's got a teddy bear no there is one in the movie where there's, yeah, a, there's kid. a kid it's running fucked. the kid's oh. running like it's a fuck but scene like it's because they strap explosives onto the kids like yeah he doesn't kill the kid a he's lot the, the whole die. his whole platoon's done pretty much well because he doesn't he kills the the, the mother well the kid yeah. the head kid hands a grenade to his mom and then the mom's running towards like the all the soldiers in the tank yeah. and then he's like this is i think it's his first mission out there too he's like fuck i don't want to shoot this woman and then he she she you see he he doesn't see the bomb until after he kills her, though. Yeah. So it's like a thing, like, it's just like a normal woman walking towards the like, group of soldiers. She's got, like, uh, like something like, concealed in her, yeah, like, yeah. garment. And, like, we don't know what it is. And she's just walking towards the people very briskly. And he's, like, the whole, it's such a tense fucking scene, man. Like, the, the a sound in that movie, too, is just, like, yeah. makes you fucking feel like your heart's beating. It's just, like, fuck. Wait, For some reason, so I feel like, like there was one where there was, like, the, I thought the kid, like, ran up to the mom because they got him. Yeah. And then the kid, like, picked up the grenade himself because he's, like, yeah. watching because the kid's, like, crying. Oh, that's how the scene finishes because yeah. he shoots the mom and then so, the mom the drops kid, the grenade. The mom the kid drops everything up. and so he sees the grenade roll and the, the kid runs over and is, like, crying, right? And just <laughs> picks up the grenade and starts running towards the soldiers. Yeah. And then you can p- put together what happens next. It's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's they a, hug. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They teach him how to defuse it. And they the, the, the bomb explodes, help. and it's just a bunch of like confetti. confetti yeah. And then everyone just starts God. hugging, and like, yeah. <laughs> and then I sing Barney's song, I love you. Pretty much. What were you going to say, though? You had you had something teed up there. Um, I'm assuming in the context of the movie, it's a lot different, but that just sounds like a woman was walking towards the group, and he's just like, <laughs> well, like, she, she's like running towards the them. context. Oh, okay. It's, like, it's yeah. like where they are. Yeah. 
Mm. It's like they're in a war zone. They're and like a bunch the, of the American mm. like army is huddled together with like their tanks. Yeah, she's like walking up to them, looking all sketchy. Oh, okay. And then he he, he has to make like the call. Yeah. yeah, he has to make the call. Do I take the shot? Do I yeah. not? I, I like the movie just because it's shot, like uh, <clears throat> it's really like immersive. You kind of lose where you're at for a bit. And you feel like you're literally part of like some fucking you platoon. You feel like you're part of the decision. Yeah, game. literally. So it's like I don't know. That's what Siege was gonna be before they uh, changed it. Rainbow Six Patriots. It was like a whole story <laughs> about um, like you're the counter terrorist unit, and all these decisions you have to make in the game affect like the outcome. And one of them's uh, like a guy's at home with his wife. It's his birthday. She's gonna blow him. Don't know why that was important, but it was. Like they added that. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'll take I'll, a bunch of like I'm down. A bunch of like mass guys come in, like kidnap him, and then it cuts to him like driving down the high or a bridge, and he has a bomb strapped to his chest, and they're like you have to go here, otherwise we're gonna like kill your wife and blow up your house or whatever. He's just trying to get head. So, yeah. What a night that and would then, have turned into. Just trying to get some brain. Next thing you know, he's about to blow his um, brains out. But then, so he's on the bridge, and then the, like, counter-terrorist unit people, like, figure it out, and they go to find him. And then um, when you grab him, like, you see the bomb strapped to his chest, and he's like, please, like, just let me go. Like, they're going to kill my wife. And then you get the call being like, he has explosives. Like, he's going to blow up. You have to make the call either to let him stay and hope it doesn't go off or, like, take him off to- the bridge. Yeah. Give him a boot. And then I think in the video, they <laughs> kick him off the bridge and he blows up. Mm-hmm. And that, yeah, that was, what, to, that was what Siege to, was yeah. going to be. And then they scrapped that entire game. Is that, if that's like, that's an exact scene in the, in the newest COD campaign. I wonder if they probably took it from that. Probably took it. The new COD is basically Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Siege Edition. But Everything I just explained, you can watch. And they have a trailer. I'll play, I think you sent me it once, but you can maybe say that for next week. I don't know what time it is. I always send you shit and then you just never watch it. I've been watching everything. you you haven't sent me anything recently. Drew sent me some the other day. Don't watch any of this stuff I sent you. Brown diss track. Just try me again, man. Okay. That Logan, that Logan Paul song, low key fire, bro. Yeah, the the, the Antonio Brown. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. I was not expecting like that. I was ho- probably produced well, it. I'm song. glad you sent it because I was sending it to you too. But I was like, this is it's right up our alley. Yeah, yeah. dude, I've been watching Keemstar every day now too. So yeah, it's been like, all right, that's yeah. fucking crazy. Okay. Yeah. That's a good place to. Let's get right into the news. Why are you giving Let's like a British get accent? Right that's what he says. Right into the news. Mm. Our first story, story today: <laughs> Logan Paul and Paul Bricegum TikTok. <laughs> All I know is that Kim Star's a a fucktard. He is kind of like fucked. No, he's normal now. Sort of. Now. Yeah, same all his way, past things are gone. Are well, yeah. He just put he just put out some giant like alt right thing on his Twitter the other day. Kind hacked. Of like, yeah, simple as that. Someone <laughs> hacked him and posted it. Big farmer. Even though he has, yeah. even though he hasn't said no one's hacked him. Battery <laughs> runs out. <laughs> yeah. He's he's still hacked. That's it's what's like happening. three weeks later. Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, it's good. I was hacked. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's between normal shit since then. <laughs> 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 By the way, since that since that joke missed, I, it was a yeah. hack. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was hacked. That's not actually my opinions or anything. It's ultimate defense. Yeah. Uh, it was a prank. Just a prank, bro. I got hacked and then pranked you. Simple as that. <laughs> the hackers pranked you. <laughs> All right. Well, that will be it. We'll come back next week with conspiracy, conspiracy theories. theories. I feel like Drew will probably have a really good one. Oh, buddy. Shane, I feel like you're gonna have one that's gonna be really dumb. Shane's been bottom of the armpit smell. <laughs> it's gonna be really dumb, and he's gonna convince us so hard as to why it's legit. <clears throat> and then Rob's gonna forget. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget. Oh, remind me Sunday though, for sure. Remind me Rob's Sunday too, be just like, in case. Oh, uh, Under Armour. Dude, I'm actually wearing a shit ton of Under Armour today. <laughs> this, I got this, and look at my socks too. Is your pants under? Oh, armor? sock check. No, no. my my pants sock are check. Nike. Sock check. Sock check. Pickles. One second, yeah, baby. I'm gonna have to go like from the back. You guys to see the logo on it. I got you, Drew. What the fuck are those? Let me see. Oh, there's one on the top too. Well, it's bullshit. upside down, gotcha. but it says this meeting is bullshit. All right. This meeting is bullshit. That means it's probably on the wrong flight. Rob, yours was just plain. It was just Under Armour. I had to flex. Yeah. Where are Whoa, those are, those are, oh, those are stripes and stars, feminine. baby. Those are some low cut socks. Yeah. <laughs> Keep those off the table. Yeah, jeez, there's ankle socks <laughs> everywhere Holy now. Shit. Grossest ankle sauce in the league right here. <laughs> you have ankle sauce, don't you? I had ankle sauce, I said. My, you can't even see how much ankle sauce uh, I no. no, those are fucking knee high, baby. Yeah, these are ones I'm wearing at the gym. You gotta hide my small calves in them. Knee high <laughs> by the 4th of July, that's some good corn there. Okay, see if you guys. I... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck?